Grade 4 Math, number 26. Estimate products for two-digit multiplication. We've been doing one-digit multiplication. Now we're starting to do two-digit multiplication. Ones and tens place. All right, well, I need to remind you what a compatible number is. They're numbers that are easy to compute mentally. All right, I want you to take a look at this. Four 25 cent pieces, four quarters, is equal to a dollar. Okay? So just remember that 25 times 4 is 100. See? What if you had eight of these? If you had eight of them, you'd have two dollars, wouldn't you? That would be one dollar, and then another one would be two dollars. So 25 times 8 is 200. Those are considered compatible numbers because they're easy to remember and to work with mentally. Okay? So, let's see what we've got here. The school cafeteria sells 81 pudding cups each school day. If there are 23 school days in the month of April, how many pudding cups will they sell that month? Now see, there may be 30 days in April, but you have Saturdays and Sundays, and the school isn't going to sell pudding cups on a Saturday or a Sunday, right? They only sell it on the school days. So, you take out the Saturdays and Sundays, and that leaves 23 days of school for the month of April. So if they sell 81 pudding cups for the 23 days, how many pudding cups are they going to sell? So we can use mental math, and we can estimate, okay? 81 is estimated to be 80, because the 1 rounds down, it becomes a 0, and the 8 stays the same. 23, the 3 tells the 2 to stay the same, and it becomes a 0, so we've got 20. So now you've got 80 times 20. So we do 8 times 2, which is 16, and then we add the 0 from the 80 and a 0 from the 20, and we get 1,600. Isn't that easy? Okay, let's try this one. You can use mental math on this one. 26 times 42. 26 is really close to 25. And if you use compatible numbers, 25 times 40 would be like 25 times 4. Remember, that's 100, and then you add the other 0. So you multiply the 25 and the 4, and then add the 0 to the end. 25 and 4 are compatible numbers, so it would be very easy to do that mentally. See? You could do that in your head. How about round to the nearest 10? 24 times 79. The 24 rounds to 20, because the 4 tells the 2 to stay the same, and it turns into a 0 when it's finished doing its job. So that's a 20. And 79, the 9 tells the 7 to go up to an 8, and then it turns into a 0 when it's finished. So now we've got 20 times 80. 2 times 8 is 16. And then we add the 0 from the 20, and the 80, and we get 1,600. See? We multiply the 2 and the 8, and then add the two zeros. Okay? And then using compatible numbers for the 24 and the 80, 24 is really close to 25. So instead of rounding it down to 20, we could just say, well, it's really close to 25. And 79 rounds to 80. 25 times 8 if 25 times 4 is 100, then 25 times 8 is 200. See, it's two of them. Then we take the 0 from the 80, because we did 25 times 8. Then we take the 0 from the 80, and we add it on to the end of the answer, and then we get 2,000. See how that's done? All right, let's see if we could try doing this one. What can 48 be close to? What do you think it'll round to for the estimate? The 8 tells the 4 to go up to a 5. And when it's finished with its job, it turns into a zero. So 48 is very close to 50. 32 is very close to which 10? Is it closer to 30 or to 40? It's closer to 30. So what is 50 times 30? Well, what's 5 times 3? 5 times 3 is equal to 15. And then we can add the zeros, right? And we get 1,500. You could almost do that one in your head, couldn't you? How about this one? 
52 rounds to the 2 tells the 5 to stay the same and when it's finished it becomes a 0 and 83 is it closer to 80 or 90 the 3 tells the 8 to stay the same and it turns into a 0 so it's closer to 80 this one is just like this one almost how many 50s are in a hundred If that's 100, how many would 8 be? If 2 of them is 100, how many would 8 be? Well, 4 of them would be 200. 4 times 2 is 8. You could also do 5 times 8 is 40. Now, I know there's a zero in this answer, but we didn't count it yet. We just did five times eight. We still need to bring the zeros over, don't we? 50 times 80 is 4,000. Or we could have done two fifties are 100, four fifties are 200, six fifties are, how much? 300. So, eight fifties would be 400 and then we would add the zero. So either way, you can estimate with two-digit multiplication. You can use compatible numbers. You could do mental math and add the zeros on the end, couldn't you? Yep. Sorry about my focus there. That happens a lot when I wave my hand in front of the camera. It focuses on my hand. Sorry about that. So now you know how to estimate products for two-digit multiplication by rounding, by moving the zeros, Okay, I'll see you next video. Bye.